everybody, yesterday I did this. Bam! I did a cool thing where I shaved off some of the coating, this shiny coating here, and exposed the copper underneath and tarnished it. Uh, now there's a lot of areas where I still have a lot of the uh, shininess, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and use my Dremel, it's a rotary tool, with the uh, polishing attachment and some polishing compound to rub off the rest without damaging the structure of the metal. Uh, I'm really excited for this. As you guys know, I like talking about passion and um, I've wanted to put more time and effort into doing things I love. And I realized that this channel has a unique way to be something new. And that is a union between a lifestyle and motivation channel and uh, a DIY channel, because why not? I'm passionate about DIY, it's never been done before, or at least if it has, I'm sure it has, but it's, you know, there's room for two or three or a few of them. And I'm gonna be me anyway, I'm gonna be a bit different, because I can't be whoever else is out there if there are other people out there, I actually haven't checked. So, without further ado, let's get started. So I don't need the gloves. First thing we need to do is screw this in. The nut here, I don't know what that, I know the thing inside is called a collet. This right here stops this from turning. See, if I do this, it'll just turn. Well, this stops it from turning so I can tighten it. All right, time to plug it in. This right here is a polishing compound. It's a, uh, so I'm gonna packed in abrasive thing. And what I do, what you do, you turn it on and then you rub it on there and then we'll get some of that compound on it. As you can see. Uh, hold on. Uh, looks like there's a little dip. This part didn't get any, but it should be fine. Now we use this. All right, so there are some areas which are gonna be hard. I could probably take a Q-tip or some kind of thing and uh, get in there, but it, I think it would be pretty cool if there are some parts that are still s sort of shiny, so it has more variety. I've um, taken off a lot of the coating in the teeth. There might be some, and in there, it's hard to get it out of there. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some more of this mixed with some water and uh, tarnish it up. All right, a little call from a guy I work with. All right, dude. check that out, check that out, check that out, check that out. Oh yeah. Get it all sulfury. Uh, you see all those uh, copper colored areas? That is going to be black very quickly. Yeah, it's already going. Check that out, that's so cool. Oh, I like this. Oh, that is so much more edgy. Check that out. Check that out, it's all, all black and dark. That's so cool, I like how there's some highlights there with the cracks, it's kinda neat. And then, yeah, you see how there's some shininess in there? It kinda looks cool that way, especially in the eye socket and the nose. I'm gonna leave it in there for a bit. Um, because there's still, because the new copper color is still, well, actually, it's tarnished now. It happens super, super, super fast. It's supposed to stop the reaction um, with a base, but uh, yeah, you know what? I'll do that. That shouldn't damage it too much if I don't stop it, but what happens is, um, 
And if you leave it in, in like a vat with a lot of it, it'll just tarnish the whole thing on the inside out and it'll become brittle, I think. I'm not sure. I don't really want to test it. But uh, if I wash this off and mix it with a, um, with a base like baking soda and water, it'll stop the reaction. So let me go do that. Chemistry, motherfucker. All right. Some bacon soda, that is a base. Should stop this reaction cold. I don't know how well I need to mix it up. Probably not too well. Probably doesn't matter. I just need to make sure I'm cool with it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I can always restart it later and make it better. More intense. Bam! Check that out. There's some bubbles coming from it. Stop on that reaction. Oh, that's not good. Uh, see it rubbed off. Rubbed off super easily. Hmm, it rubbed off in parts of it, but not in others. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Yeah, you see it rubbed off over there. I'm not entirely sure why. Let's, uh, keep it in there for longer instead. Yeah, I want this to uh, to stay tarnished for a while. So what I'll probably do is just keep it in here for a long time. Um, I don't think it'll weaken the metal. If it does, I'll just buy a new one. It was pretty cheap. But uh, yeah, I want it to stay tarnished. It looks so cool when it's tarnished. I'll let you know what happens. So I'm not sure why it looks a little different right there than the surrounding areas. Maybe I didn't uh, rub it off as much as I thought I did. I'm not sure. Something a little is a little off with that area, but it's pretty good. I like how it's dark now. It looks kind of burnt, charred. It's kind of neat. The inside's still super silver since I didn't rub any of that off. So yeah, I'm going to put this on my neck and show you what it looks like. It's a lot more striking. People before didn't really tell. Hold on a second. They couldn't really tell what it was. Now it kind of looks striking. You can sort of tell what it is. You have to look a little closer. Um, but I like it black with a little bit of shininess now. It's uh, it's pretty neat. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think in the comments below? And if you're curious about what I can, or I'm, <laughs> let me not trip over my words so much. What would you like me to use this on next? This is a liver of sulfur thing. It tarnishes both silver and copper. What should I use it on? Um, this channel is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do some more DIY stuff because I love DIY. And uh, it'll be like a hybrid between a motivational channel and, um, and a DIY channel. Same stuff as before. I'm going to add some more DIY into it though because why not? Unchain your passions, live life on your own terms, and I'll see you guys soon.